Okay, this is my second attempt at an album. It's based on the paper bag albums, but I made the pages myself. This uh, cover is based on Creative Cafe Girl. Uh, she had a, an album with the Little Darlings paper that is just beautiful, and I really liked it a lot, so I based my cover on what she did, except I this bow isn't attached. I'm going to use it as like the wrapping for when I give um, Scarlett this book. And she'll just be able to use it to rebind the book when she starts filling it up. It might become, you know, full. Keep it closed. So I just added some bling, and this is the little darling's paper. I wasn't able to get very much of it because I think it's out of print and the paper stores around here don't carry very many sheets. So here I stamped Scarlett's name, and here are a few chipboards from the Little Darlings collection. And here are some tags. Throughout the album I tried to use uh, S's from stamp alphabet stamping sets that I have. This one happens to be a pearl letter and I wouldn't recommend using it. Some of the little pearls have fallen off as I've turned the pages to work with the album. There's some tags that I've made. I tried to incorporate a lot more stamping than I did the last time I made an album. And these pockets accommodate really large uh, photos and they're all similar and they have this little baby pull tab. And these pockets here seem to pouch out quite a bit so I added a piece of tape to tighten them up a little bit. This bird here he had a crown on his head so I tried to put as many crowns around this page as possible and make this a lot more uh, geared towards journaling so Scarlett's mother can write down all the cute things that she's doing as she, as she grows up. Here's another a few tags made by cutting out the uh, pieces from the Little Darlings paper. And this is Tim Holt's um, seam binding, oh this one, seam binding that I dyed using some of his ink also. Here's another S from another alphabet set. Here is that um, dyed ribbon. Really looks nice in this album. Here. These are Martha Stewart punch punches that I've used. And buttons. I had to use the scissors and snip off the back holder of the button so it would lay flat. Here's a little try to keep it plain so she could add a lot of her pictures and notes in here. This is from the Secret Garden Graphic 45 collection. I didn't know which way I wanted to go, so I included a little bit of both. And I tried to, here's a, a stamp. This has a water kind of theme. First words, first steps. There's another journaling tag. Another button. And here I stamped this, cinched up these sides to accommodate this book. This book made out of one sheet of paper. Again, I got a lot more folded it better this time and got a lot more pockets to accommodate pictures and journal journaling. Goes here. Here's another S. Another little button. And there are some butterflies throughout the book also. And 
here's some. Here's another Martha Stewart punch. Journaling. Maybe she could put some pictures on the front. And here's my attempt at making a magnet pocket. And we're having a really hard time finding the correct magnet, strong enough magnets. And of course, I forgot to hide the magnet in between the paper here. There's the magnet inside here. I included a couple of tags in there. But it works pretty, very, it works well, but I forgot to hide that, so I'll have to do better next time. Another S. Another journaling tag here. And this little book. These are from the Little Darlings. One's a chipboard, one I just cut out of some paper. I made this book. And just use stencils to create those pages and stamps. And they can sit in here. And then again, I'll just use that ribbon to tie it up when I give it to her. And that's it.